morning guys today we're going fishing again uh, this video is going to be a lot better than my last fishing video just because now I have a video editor and I know how to use it so we're gonna get after it and see if we can't catch some gar maybe shoot some gar with my bow uh, we're gonna go after catfish and I was told that the white bass are running again so I'm gonna go see if I can't catch some of those all right, well, we've made it to the river, and yeah, let's go catch some fish. It's a great day to be in America. Here's my boat. So it's super windy today. I hope that I can get good quality photo or videos with you guys without dealing with the wind too much. I learned a new gar fishing technique from a guy on YouTube. I can't remember his name. I will come up with it later, and I'll give it to you. But uh, it seems to work. So. I've already had a few followers with uh, with this lure. All it is is a piece of string that has been basically taken apart and the gar love it. I don't know why, but it looks very interesting in the water. And I'll show you one other thing. It worked. I got my first gar with it. So I'm gonna try to include you on the next gar and let you see basically what it's like to be fishing with it and how easily it works. So here we go, going for guard number two with the old string bait, the rope bait. I'm gonna go try out the back now from uh, where I caught the last one. The rope has struck again. It's a good sized guard too. Got them all netted up. Took a little longer to get them in the net than I hoped, but there he is. So from what I've learned, the hardest part about fishing with this rope set up is getting it out of their mouth. You gotta watch though, because Gar will cut you up. Now the guy did say in his video that if you're a gar eater and you don't like, you don't want to release them and all that stuff, which I am a gar eater. I do eat gar. I'll show you later how to clean them and everything. But he said, if you're going to do this and your plans to eat them, you should make a bunch of these rope lures and then when the time comes and you catch one, you can just cut the rope lure off his face because they're pretty easy to make and they're cheap. Ooh, this thing stinks. Super powerful too. Yeah, got him. Look at the size of this guy. Look at this thing. A lot bigger than the first one I put in there. All right, let's keep at it and see if we can't get some more in the boat. I feel like I should tell you a little bit about this lure that I'm using. So, like I said, a guy on uh, YouTube, obviously, he told me, uh, he was telling his viewers how to make this lure. So basically, this is what it is. It starts off a piece of string. The string's usually about six inches long. There's a, there's a uh, guard that keeps jumping behind me. That's why I keep looking over there. But it's about six inches long. And so what you do is you take the end here and you use a lighter, heat it up, but heat it up, make it real hard. And then you take a brush or a comb and you comb this out. And basically all that's doing is separating all the little strands 
and you continue to do that until it turns into what looks like this. This is the, the finished product. When it's in the water, it looks a heck of a lot better than what it does right here. And then you take a little weight, little tiny weight, a little split shot is what you put on there. And that just gives it a little bit of weight so that it'll sink down, but you don't want too much weight because the gar spend most of their time at the top. Well, not most of their time, but they come up to the top a lot and do the nosing thing. But you want this little bit of weight so that you can, uh, you can lob it over there to them. And that's basically it. There's no hooks, there's no anything to it other than when they bite it, they get tangled up in it and then you reel them in. So I'm pretty certain that YouTube likes little furry creatures. I'm not exactly sure how they feel about fish, but I wanna show you something that I've been doing. Um, I've been going down the river with my trolling motor on very low and these Asian carp are an invasive species and uh, just been shooting them with my bow. So just kind of wanted to let you see a little bit of what kind of a uh, mess they do to my boat when I bring them in. So uh, there's the fish, look at, look at this mess. Yeah. All I can see with the head was the head on this one. And uh, obviously, it went right through his head. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one off the thing and take care of it. And uh, I'll film, I'll try to get the next one on tape. It's just taking a while in between and the camera running the whole time. I only got one battery for it, so bear with me. We'll see what we can do. Shot right in front of that one. another one. That one right in his spine. Good shot. Now this one isn't an Asian carp. This one's a grass carp. It's a big, big fish. Here's my size 12 beside him. Now I guess these things are pretty good eating. The problem is you gotta deal with all the bones. I'm not a fan of bones. So these big guys, I like to use for bait. Look at Big boy. Well, let's get back at it. I just grazed that one. He's on there though. I'll put you down. Let's see if I can't get him in. He's barely hooked. Oh, he's heavy. All right, look at the size of this guy. Holy cow, it's a big one. Looks like that's all he's hooked by is his swim bladder. Look at the size of this hoss. Holy cow, he's heavy. Let's get a weight on him. 14.6 pounds. Hey guys, just got home from fishing. I'm gonna show you what I found in my mailbox because I ordered them a little while ago and they finally got here. So that just basically means I'm gonna get to do a review on them. All right guys, the package is from Solon, Ohio. Now let's see who knows what comes from Solon, Ohio. That's what comes from Solon, Ohio. Pyramid Air. Now 
Uh, these are new on the market, and that's why I ordered them because the reviews that I have seen, there's a lot of pretty decent reviews on them. Diablo Hades. JSBs. Now these are made like they're a hunting pellet, so they have a uh, a hollow point kind of in them. One looks like right now they only have them in 22 caliber so that's what it looks like we're gonna shoot these later but first I'm gonna show you how to clean uh, clean gar first things first we got to kill them so that they're not flopping around I'm thinking the brains probably about right here yeah you know what's coming Some same thing Alright. They're pretty dead. Let me get some tools. To skin a gar, you need three items. Well, two. Unless you need to sharpen your knife. I'm guessing it's sharp. Alright, so this is how you do it. First, you take something hard and you got to break through their shell up, up top. Once you're through the shell, we use tin snips to snip down their back. Alright, then you take your knife, it's got the new fresh edge on it. And you get under the skin, or the shell, as I call it, and you work them out of the shell. All right, he's flayed open. Now I can get in here to the meat and potatoes, per se. So what you gotta do now is just flay it like any other normal fish. So find the backbone, follow the backbone. A lot of people say that they're afraid to eat gar because they think they're poisonous. The gar is not poisonous. However, gar eggs are poisonous. So you don't wanna eat Gar row. Just like that. Solid slab of meat with absolutely no bones. And to put it in a comparison for you to any other meat out there, it's the closest thing that I have found that tastes like alligator. Say that, second slice, perfect boneless meat, and the rest of them can't be used. Alright, now that the gar done, uh, my battery died right when I was trying to finish up with the small gar, but uh, that's why I didn't do an outro on it and show you the fish. I'll show you later when, uh, when I go in there and get them and clean them up and then I can show you how nice the meat is, but now we're going to start on the carp. Uh, I turned these into bait, but I'm going to do one fillet to try to eat, even though I know it's full of uh, bones, we're going to try to eat one of them. Yellow jackets or something else. One piece of meat with a lot of bones. Slock master, Mr. Tim Wells, would not be very happy with me if he found out that I use 
grass cart for bait because he enjoys eating them. That's a fellow YouTuber. In case you were wondering. Alright, now I'm gonna do the other one. Now we have to clean them up real good and then we will uh, put them in a vacuum seal bag. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but you could probably hear it. There's a whole extra line of bones in these fish. It's right there. I don't know, I can't really see it, but see that sticking out that that there's a bone. This. There's a whole bunch of them in there. That's why they say carp isn't very good eating because of those bones, but we'll figure it out one way or another. Alright guys, that's the end of the fishing day. Everything's all cleaned up. The um Fish has been put in freezer bags. I don't think there was anything else that we were going to talk about together. Um, what, babe? What you got Oh, yeah. On another video, I'm going to put talk about the Hades pellets that I got today, the JSBs. They're said to fly exactly like the other uh, pellets, but we're going to find out uh, together. And then we're going to probably shoot something with it just to see if they have the knockdown power that they say they have. I said that I'd get you the name of the guy that made the, the gar fishing lure. It, his name is Richard Jean, and he's a YouTuber. That's where I got my idea today to go out and try to catch gar like he did, and obviously it works. Thanks for watching, guys, and when I do something else, I'll bring you along with me.